Earthquakes, Volcanoes, and Tsunamis Earthquakes, Volcanoes, and Tsunamis The ground and the ocean are usually peaceful, but forces deep within the earth can suddenly cause earthquakes, volcanoes, and tsunamis. In this book, you will read about those events and the forces that cause them. The top layer of earth is made of giant pieces of rock, like the pieces of a puzzle. The pieces of rock, called plates, make up continents and ocean floors. Where the plates come together, there are often cracks and gaps called faults. Underneath the plates, the earth is very hot. It is so hot that rock melts into a liquid called magma. The magma is always moving, dragging the plates around with it. At the edge of the moving plates, three different things can happen. If the plates are moving together against each other, one plate slides over or under the other plate. That's this right here. If the plates are moving past each other, the edges of the plates grind together. And if the plates are moving apart, they make a gap where magma comes out. Sometimes the plates get caught on each other and cannot move. The pressure and energy build up. Then suddenly the rocks give away. The ground shakes far above, people feel an earthquake. And that is what's happening here. Some earthquakes are small and harmless, but sometimes the shaking is so strong that buildings crumble, bridges collapse, and large cracks open in the ground. Here we go, right here. The ground here was ripped open by an earthquake. We measure the strength of earthquakes on an instrument called a seismograph. This is a seismograph. Each earthquake is given a number from the Richter scale, depending on its strength. And here you can see right here this is called a seismograph right here is a seismograph here is the name of Richter scale the Richter scale it is from the numbers 1 through 10 a 1 people can't feel it Two, people usually don't feel it. Some people in tall buildings might sense a slight swaying. Three, many people near the origin of the earthquake notice the shaking, but no damage occurs. See right here, no damage occurs. A four, people at the site of the quake feel it. Hanging objects sway, water sloshes in swimming pools. Some buildings that are weak may be damaged. A five is felt over a large area, usually lots of damage to weak buildings, some damage to strong buildings. A six, lots of damage to weak buildings, some damage to strong buildings. Damage can spread over 160 kilometers. Anything over a seven is a very major earthquake. Most buildings at the center are destroyed. Cracks form in the earth. 
pipes underneath break. You can even have a landslide. And eight, buildings and bridges are destroyed. And nine, the ground appears to move in waves. Rivers may move. Objects can be thrown in the air. Total destruction of buildings and other structures. A volcano begins when magma from deep inside the earth comes through a crack in the earth. When the magma reaches the surface, it cools into the solid rock. Sometimes the hot magma, and this is the magma right here, Here's the magma. It gets to the surface. It hardens into a solid piece of rock and it plugs up the crack. Hot gases in the magma continue to press against the plug. The pressure grows and suddenly the volcano, it just explodes. It goes everywhere. When mountains explode, they send tons of rock rolling down their side. These falling rocks are called landslides. Clouds of ash and dust rise into the air during the eruption. The ash falls to the ground like snow. Large ash clouds can be even block out the sunlight. Some large volcanoes have snow and ice on top. The hot gases melt all the snow and ice at once, and the water rushes down the mountainside. This is called a mud slide. Scientists have not been able to predict when earthquakes will happen, but they've been very good at predicting volcano eruptions. In 1991, scientists warned people in the country of the Philippines, and this is the Philippines, that a volcano was about to erupt. Many people left the area and found safety before the volcano erupted. Tsunamis are huge waves caused by earthquakes or volcanoes. Tsunamis can be high as a football field is long. They are the largest wave in the world. And this is a tsunami. Large landslides caused by earthquakes or volcanoes sometimes fall into the sea and make huge waves. Earthquakes and volcanoes can also happen on the ocean floor. All of these events can cause tsunamis. Tsunamis speed away from where they begin in all directions. A tsunami can cross an entire ocean. Tsunamis travel very fast. In the open ocean, Tsunamis may not be very high above the surface of the water, but they are very deep. As a tsunami comes close to land, the rising ocean floor pushes a wave upward. When a tsunami reaches land, it is tall enough to destroy almost anything in its path. Most tsunamis are between 1 and 10 stories high. That might not sound very high, but it is hard to imagine the power of this much moving water. Even a small tsunami can destroy houses, streets, and entire towns. Like volcanoes, tsunamis are becoming easier to predict. Scientists have instruments that detect volcanoes and earthquakes. When a large one happens, scientists often have time to warn people
that a tsunami may be coming. And here, many people describe tsunamis as a wall of water. During a large earthquake, the ground shakes, destroying homes and property. In an explosive volcano eruption, liquid rock, ash, and landslides can cover whole cities, and tsunamis can cause billions of dollars in damage. Scientists are working to be able to predict volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis in order to save thousands of lives. Here is a glossary, earthquake, faults, landslides, magma, mudslides, plates. These are not plates like you eat on. These are lord sheets of rock. The Richter scale, tsunamis, volcanoes. You can find all of these books at RazKids.com. RazKids.com. And here it is right here, reading A to Z dot com. I hope you enjoyed this book. Thank you for watching.